if you face the issue for the last of us but you do remastered crashing on startup then i will guide you on how to resolve this issue now a lot of people on pc are facing this problem so make sure to follow these instructions very carefully now if you go to various forums like reddit and the steam forums you can see a lot of people are complaining regarding this issue now there are a very useful advice has been provided on these forums i'll also share with you on how to fix this problem since a lot of people provided some very useful tips here so just listen to this tutorial very carefully and i'll guide you on how to resolve this issue for the last of us part 2 remastered crashing on startup now the first thing you need to do just ensure that you meet the game system requirement now if your pc doesn't meet the game system requirement you'll also be facing a lot of issues on crashing on startup just go to the steam page here for this game for the store page just scroll down here for this game and you'll find the system requirement there is minimum and recommended so ensure you pass through this system requirement and ensure that your pc has be meet this system requirement now if your pc meet the system requirement maybe it's a high-end pc but you're still facing again the same issue just follow these instructions here now the first thing you need to do now listen to this very carefully here if you have amd gpu update your driver to 25.3.2 version it works so if you're having amd gpu just go to this link here which will be available on the description also click on that link it will take you to this section here make sure to update your gpu to version 25.3.2 a lot of people suggested that if you update your GPU to this version, it will work. Just come to this page here, selection, select on here on the left side, which say downloads. And it will take you to this section here. Make sure to download this version here, which is AMD Software Adrenaline Edition 25.3.2. After downloading it, just ensure to install it and try to relaunch the game to see if the issue can be resolved. Now, if you're having NVIDIA GPU just like mine, also try to update your drivers to the latest version. Just make sure to have the NVIDIA app on your PC. Just launch the NVIDIA app on your PC and try to update your drivers from there. As you can see here, if you go to this driver section here, you can update your drivers to the latest version. Now, maybe if you update your drivers to the latest version, but you're still facing again the same issue. Now, let's go to another step here. Turn off NVIDIA Reflex low latency, low latency on your game settings. A lot of people suggested that if you turn off NVIDIA Reflex low latency, your issue will be resolved. If you go to a game settings, you can see here NVIDIA Reflex low latency. Make sure to select off. Now, if you select off, try to relaunch the game again to see if the issue can be resolved. A lot of people suggested that if you turn off NVIDIA Reflex low latency on your settings, the issue will be resolved. You know, another thing you need to do is increase virtual memory or page file. To do so, just press window plus R and type this, which is systemdm.cpl. So you can just copy this like it like this. Copy it. Now type window plus R and type this here and then click OK. Now it will open here. Just go here on the section which is called advanced. Now on the performance here, select settings and then select here advanced again. And then on the virtual memory here, select change. Now what you need to do, just uncheck this automatically manage paging file the size for all drivers and check it and make sure to select custom size. Now here you'll set it like this. Initial size MB, you'll set it 1.5 times your RAM size. So let's say your RAM is 16 GB. So you'll just write it here 1.5 times your RAM which is 16,000 MB so we'll get this here so just multiply 1.5 times 16,000 MB and you'll get the value here now on the maximum size it will be three times your RAM size so maybe your RAM is 16 GB just take three times 16 and you'll get 48 so 48,000 MB you'll write it here like this which is 48,000 now after writing it like this also write here on the initial size which is 1.5 times RAM size click ok to, to save changes and to try to launch the game to see if the issue has been resolved you know maybe if it doesn't fix your issue just make sure to make sure to remove it and try to leave it as it was found on before now let's go to another step here which is close all background apps before running the game so also some people suggested that try to close all background applications before running your game also, if it fails, just make sure to reinstall Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. The link will also be found on the description. Just make sure to download the latest version and try to reinstall it on your PC and check if the issue can be resolved. Now, maybe if you've done all the steps but you're still facing again the same issue and the game continuously crashing on startup, just make sure to reinstall your Windows. So, the last step I actually advise you is try to reinstall the Windows and you try to check if the problem can be resolved. But in most cases, 
if you follow these instructions very carefully, you'll be able to solve this issue.